Hello, peoples and persons. Welcome back to Dante's Derivatives. Look at this equation we have up on the screen. I'm going to use Python to uh, find the solution for this first degree equation. We're going to do some algebra today. So this equation up here, 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. I want to find the x value that makes this equation correct. So let's define a function called solution. And we're going to have Python check a whole bunch of x values, hundreds of x values, and it's going to do it in a split second. So let's get it ready. We're going to have Python start at negative 100. And we'll use a while loop to get this going. While x is less than 100, that's the, we'll have Python check between negative 100 and 100. That's the last number that we'll have it check. And this is the, uh, this is what we'll have Python check. If two times X, and if, if you're having troubles understanding this, go and check the conditionals um, video. That'll help you out a lot with these, uh, this while loop and this, these, uh, this if, this if uh, command up on the screen. So if two times X plus five is equivalent to 13, if that becomes correct while Python's checking these X values, if x is, ever makes this uh, equation correct, then we'll have Python print x is equal to, and Python will then print whatever that, uh, that x value is that makes this 2x plus 5 is equal to 13 correct. So at that point, the last thing we need to do is make sure Python checks every number one at a time. So Python will go from negative 100 to negative 99 to negative 98 on on onward 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 until it gets to positive 100 so it'll go one at a time that's what we're writing here so let's test out our solution functions here by the way this is called a brute fro this is called brute force we're having python check hundreds of values per second so let's run this Python's going to tell us what the uh, this x value is. Oh, it looks like 4 is the solution or a possible solution for this first degree um, algebraic equation. So let's check that out. Is 2 times 4, if we plug in this x value here to this equation, is 2 times 4 plus 5 equivalent to 13? Uh, let's check it. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So it looks like we did pretty good there. Now I want to show you guys another way of doing this. And if we scroll down and give ourselves some space here, I'm going to rewrite this equation variable. And I'm going to write out ax plus b is equal to cx plus d. This is the generic formula for a first degree algebraic equation. So let's solve for x here. Solution x is equal to, if you solve for x, you'll know that x is equal to d minus b divided by a minus c. And that's the solution for a first degree algebraic equation. So let's use that information to solve for the equation that we had before. 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. So now I'm going to write the solution function again. And this time I'm going to give it some um, input. We're going to give it A, B, C, and D. This time all I want this function to do is return D minus B divided by A minus C. And now when I call this function, with the parameters that we want, the 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. And since, look, we have ax plus b is equal to cx plus d. So just plug in the numbers into the letters here. That's pretty much what algebra is. But uh, for, for, for sake of time, just go ahead and try and plug in the letters here. Plug in the numbers that I do. 2, 5, 0, and 13. And that's 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. 
and our solution comes out to 4.0, just like we had before. So that's kind of one way that you can use algebra in Python when you're solving your first degree algebraic equations. You guys have a great day. Please like and share this video and comment on here and tell me anything that you would do differently or if this video helped you out, just comment and I'll see you guys next time.